Wake up out of dream, uh huh. Grab a light, uh huh. Something that can steam, uh huh. Bomb grip, uh huh. Make sure it's clean, uh huh. What is going on, guys? My name is Paris, aka Gold Sniper Knight, and today I'm back with a brand new GTA 5 video for all of you lovely people. But before we do get into today's GTA 5 video, I want you all to know I'm currently doing a Q&A on my channel. So if you guys have any questions for me, make sure you guys do go down in the comment section below and add that hashtag Q&A GS9. So I can answer all of you guys' questions because I don't mind actually answering them for you guys. And I know you guys sometimes do have questions on how I get my money or sometimes how I can actually rank up so fast in GTA 5 online but with that said if you guys do have any questions make sure you do go down in the comment section below and actually do comment down your question with the hashtag gs9 but with all that out of the way that has been a mouthful and hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video but let's get into it okay so the first glitch or trick i'm gonna be showing you guys is for everyone who does have a special vehicle such as the rocket voltic or maybe even the ruiner 2000 and this is how you guys can get rid of that five minute wait time in order for you guys to call your next vehicle all you're going to simply want to do is become a ceo then retire as a ceo and then load up the option to become a motorcycle president and then after that return your personal vehicle to storage and then after that you guys should no longer have a wait in order to get your ruiner 2000 as you guys can see i just tried it and i did it and i had my ruiner 2000 fully restocked with missiles and i don't have to really wait it's repaired and everything and I could go around town blowing shit up, causing chaos, and doing as I please because you guys don't have to wait. So you guys can do this with any personal vehicle that you guys do have, such as the Ruiner 2000, Rocket Voltic, or that big ass truck that likes to slam through shit, or whatever you guys do want to call it. But with that said, on to the next trick. So the next glitch or trick I'm going to be showing you guys is how you guys can actually have no arms in GTA 5 online. So what you're going to do is follow the steps I do have on screen. So first things first, what you're going to do is load up any job you guys do want to load up. It doesn't really matter. I decided to do a mission called Time to Get Away. But what you're going to want to do is simply just put on a parachute once you do load up the job. After that, make your way over to any ammunition store and then become topless. It's pretty simple. It's not too hard. And then all you want to do is put on a heist utility Fest, and then after that head over to the overcoat blazers and hit no top after you guys do hit no top all you want to do is simply just back out and you guys will see you have no arms and then for your final step all you want to do is take off the parachute and as you guys can see your body will be glitched and you guys will have no arms nor a back and you guys can show your friends this glitch you guys can run around your gun your friends will probably be like what the hell how'd you get that and what you guys can do is either show them how to do this or recommend them to this video whichever way works does not matter but with that said on to the third glitch or trick i'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video is how you guys can actually get the fib buffalo unmarked in a public session so what you're going to do is load the mission called time to get away it holds two people so you can invite your friend it doesn't really matter all you're going to do is make your way over to this dude over here once you do make your way over to this guy all you're going to do is get in his red car and then simply just kill all the cops and then make your way over to the main road once you do make your way over to the main road you guys will actually see that some of the unmarked buffaloes will actually come after you and what you want to do is just simply just grab one of those and then complete the mission go on and do simply what you normally would do kill all the cops if you guys do have problems doing this make sure to comment your guys' gamer tags down below so you guys can actually help each other out but once you do actually hit the voting screen all you want to do is just select free mode do not back out of it just select free mode and then as you guys can see you you will spawn inside free mode with the unmarked buffalo and you guys can show your friends this glitch you guys can drive around and keep in mind once this buffalo is destroyed there is no getting it back there is no shoving it in your personal vehicle garage none of that stuff any of it once this car is blown up it's gone that's it nada zip never again but with that said let's get into the next trick in today's video Alright, so the next trick I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video is how you guys can actually get into this pretty cool little wall breach. I'm actually ramming it with my Tron bike, but what you want to do is make sure you do have the Tron bike. Ask your friends. If you got, none of your friends have it, make sure you guys go down in the comment section below and ask somebody if they have it. But what you want to do is simply just back up into this wall as you guys did to see me do. All you want to do is put your back tire to the wall and simply just slowly ease into it like you're easing into biting into a pear or something like that. You know, you don't want to go in 
in and just do a big take a big chunk out of it or else you know it's just not going to taste as good so as you guys can see this wall breach is pretty cool and you guys can actually hide here so if you guys do have a wanted level or a bounty on you of some sort you know you can come here hide out here and then your friends won't be able to find you cops won't be able to kill you but you will be actually be able to shoot from the inside out and they will not be able to kill you unless they have an rpg well if they have an rpg then you're kind of fucked so you might as well just go find a better wall breach or something like that on my channel for if you are being attacked by rpgs or tanks or something like that but with that said this trick is pretty cool and hopefully you guys do end up using it let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are going to use it but if you guys ever want to get out of this wall breach just simply just drive forward and you guys will actually be pushed outside of this wall breach and you guys have no penalty you guys don't have to kill yourself or anything like that and stupid crap like some of the other wall breaches but you guys can get out of this it's not too hard to get out of it's pretty easy I'd rate this difficulty being a 1 on the list from 1 being easy and 10 being hard. But with that said, let's get into the next trick in today's video. Alright, so number 5, the last glitch in today's video is a pretty cool little wall breach. So I'm going to leave some gameplay in so you guys do know where I'm going to be heading for this glitch. Because unfortunately, I did not put a map location for this one as well. So what you want to do is make your way over to my location. And then all you want to do is hop over this yellow railing and then continue walking straight. And then as you guys can see, you guys are in this cool little wall breach. But as you guys can see, I jumped down over by where this garage is and then what you guys want to do is head over into first person mode and you guys will be in this cool little spot i did feature this on my channel oh not too long ago i'm not sure how long ago it was but it's pretty cool and i felt like i did need to show you guys this glitch just in case some of you guys did not know this glitch in gta 5 online and hopefully you guys can make use of this let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are going to use this glitch because if you guys are i would love to see you guys tweeting me some pictures or something like that of you guys down here if you guys don't know my twitter it's the same thing as my youtube channel so you guys can actually just tweet me some stuff if you guys do want to but if you guys do want to see this garage in third person all you're going to do is make your way over to a vehicle that will be stored somewhere around here it can either be by the gate of the garage or on the other side on the other side of the parking lot it doesn't really matter but most of the time there is a vehicle here so if you do want to see this place in third person all you want to do is simply just hop in a vehicle and then hop out of it and then you guys will be able to see this place in third person but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys are new to the channel and you guys do want to help me reach my goal of 1250 subscribers on youtube make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you guys can get a notification every time i do upload a video i tend to upload videos throughout the week every day at three o'clock eastern time so i try to upload videos around then just so you guys know when to come check out the videos on my channel if they're not up by then they're either gonna be out 30 minutes later 50 minutes later etc or just keep checking back throughout the channel because you never know when I might upload later on in the day but I do typically try to upload around 3 o'clock Eastern time but with that said guys hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video it's been your boy Paris aka Gold Sniper 9 I'm out guys peace